welcome to But Still She Thrives. This is your host, Christy Jade, and we're going to do a short but sweet podcast today. It's sweet because there's some simple tips for just living happier. And then I'm going to talk about a program that I am putting out there again. I had it a few years ago and I am reamping it. I have built more into it. It is epic. It is life changing. I will put a link with testimonials and all the details. But first, let's just dive into some simple things. We kind of complicate life, right? We have a lot of stress and there's a lot of external things that affect how we live our lives every day, right? The things we have to do, the feel, things we feel we need to do, external relationships, our relationship with ourselves, our self-talk. There's so much that impacts our daily lives. So sometimes it's hard to take ourselves out and step back and evaluate what's going on. So number one before, this is just like a little bonus, but number one is sit back and evaluate first, right? Like, what is going right and what is not going right in your life? That's pretty simplified. We go deeper to that into that in my program. But starting there where you actually step outside of yourself and take a breath and stop just doing that like run, always go, always go, and not really taking the time to actually say, hey, where am I not happy? And doing it in kind of a logical way and getting your emotions out of it so you can do it successfully. So one of my biggest tips for living a happier life is to not get sucked into the drama. What is the drama though, right? Drama can be so many things, but for me, drama really looked like getting in conversations that are negative, where people are draining your energy, where you feel tired after a conversation with someone because it's someone who complains a lot or they're negative or you guys bring out negativity in each other. It just doesn't feel healthy and you don't leave conversations feeling uplifted and more energized. So pay attention to your body. Don't get sucked in. Also, don't take the bait. If there are people in your life, and if you're on this podcast, a lot of you have been through abuse, that are abusive to you, don't take the bait and don't get sucked in. It kind of goes into that realm as well. Number two, you have to find the time for self-care. I don't care who you are, I don't give a shit. You have some time. You will create the time. I am big on this. This is something I do with my clients and every client has been able to create self-care time for themselves even if they came in thinking they did not have the time. So you need to find the time. Number three, stop trying to please everybody. Especially us as moms, as women, we by nature can be more nurturing and want to help people and that's all great but it when it's at the expense of your own well-being it is no longer helpful to anybody my favorite quote in the world is you cannot pour from an empty cup if your cup is drained out you have nothing useful to give other people anyway right you need to take care of yourself that doesn't mean you're selfish it means you got to do that self-care you have to evaluate what is important to you, what you want to do in your life so that you can be happy. And then that has a trickle down effect of others being happy. So get rid of that guilt, girl. Number four, stop the negative self-talk. This is something that takes a little bit of training, but where we can stop our thoughts and really retrain, reframe the brain. It's like I'm rapping over here. But where... You have to actively think, what are the thoughts that are in my head every day? I mean, like 90% of women's thoughts are negative, whether it's judging other people, judging yourself when you're looking in the mirror, having those thoughts and worries, you know, thinking about future things that may not even happen, but we're thinking worst case scenario, or even the negative thoughts like, oh, I, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. All of those thoughts are trash. They're stupid trash and we want to get rid of them. So that's something I also work on with all of my clients. That's a big one because we all do it. So these are four ways. This is, you know, a jump start to just start thinking about these things. And if you want help, if you're really, truly ready to change your life, I encourage you to click on the link in my show notes. I am doing this program. It is a three-month journey 
to find that happiness, to find that peace and live joyfully and get excited about life again, to find yourself. Maybe you never knew who you were, or maybe you want to refind yourself. That's what my situation was before I went through all this fun healing shit. And healing doesn't have to be dark and crying all the time and laying on a couch for hours talking about your innermost feelings. There is a space and time for that. But when we are working together, we're going to have fun and you will be changed after working with me. So I am going to let you go read testimonials. I will put in the link. I will let you read more details about this journey. This is an investment in yourself that it is really invaluable because if you are not happy, if you are not thriving, if you are not at peace, if you don't know how to just be able to breathe and live life and enjoy it, that that is priceless to learn how to do those things. So I've got these tools and I'm walking alongside of you, but you get to also lead and start trusting yourself to a point where you know you can take control. You can get that power. Maybe you lost that power if you were in a bad situation in your life. Maybe that power, you feel like it's gone. It is not gone. It's just been shit on. And we're here to wipe that shit off and get your power back and start making some major moves in your life. And it doesn't have to be hard. It's actually fun. My clients love this journey. So if you are ready, I am only here for people who are really ready. If you are truly ready to invest in yourself and change your life, go ahead and sign up for this program and then you will get an email so you can sign up for our first call together. We'll do a Zoom. I love a little face-to-face action. And then there's Voxer Access. If you don't know what that is, it's this walkie-talkie app, which is so badass. And you can talk to me through it. Um, I check it a couple times a day. And so if you need in-between support, I am there Monday through Friday. Like I said, I check a couple times a day. I always send emails. I love sending emails. And I make them all cute and put emojis and stuff because I'm a nerd like that. Um, with kind of like our plan for the week and how, you know, just a reminder of what we talked about on the phone. Basically notes from our phone call, any action items, but it's good stuff. It's stuff that's going to leave you feeling great and happy. Like this does not have to be so hard, okay? So I'm so excited for those of you who are ready and I want you to click over there, sign up so I can help you on this journey. You are a queen and you deserve the life of a queen. Okay? All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.